Hello and welcome to the CAA quiz. We are going to be getting underway in just one moment. And I'd like to thank everyone for joining us on our very first um, quiz that is during the daytime. I know that's a little different, so we're going to give it a try, though. There we go. All right. So if you've not played before, um, here is how the CAA quiz works. We are playing for bragging rights. So whether you get the question wrong or right, uh, it is all about learning something new. And we also would like to invite you to it, um, go ahead and put your guesses down in the comments. So if you have any um, comments or guesses or, hey, I would really like some more information about that in the next Carriage Journal, you can put that right down in the comment section. Today, we are going to do a little warm-up session because it's been a little while since we've done this, so I have two warm-up questions for you. Our first warm-up question, what color should carriage driving gloves be? A, black, B, white, or C, brown? Hmm. And so the answer to what color should carriage driving gloves be is C, brown. Okay, did you get that right? Don't worry if you didn't, there's lots of things to learn in carriage driving. So here we go with warm up question two. Albany sleighs have a distinctive curved what? Is it A, runners, B, dash, or C, seat? Albany sleighs have a distinctive curved what? And the answer to that would be the dash. That is what the Albany sleighs are known for, is that distinctive curved dash. So that's kind of how we go through this. And um, so no worries. Again, um, this is just for bragging rights. And I see it is now officially 3 o'clock, so we will be getting underway. And I would like to welcome all of our CAA Facebook friends and and CAA members. Today is Thursday, January 21st, and it is now 3 p.m., and we are going to start the quiz. Here we go, round one, question one. This C was originally called a baby boot. Today, we call a footman's seat a what? A, rumble, B, footman's board, or C, a rubber duck. So this seat was originally called a booby boot. Today, we call a footman's seat a what? A, rumble, B, footman's board, or C, rubber duck. That rubber duck's gonna come in more than once. Okay, question two. Several different models of this cart were made, including the Manola cart, the East Winston cart, and the Hempstead cart. Traditionally, they have a patent method of attaching the shafts to the body to reduce horse motion. What vehicle is it? A, the Long Island or Meadowbrook cart, B, runabout, or C, marathon vehicle. Several different, excuse me, several different models of this cart were made, including the Manola cart, the East Winston cart, and the Hempstead cart. Traditionally, they have a patented method of attaching the shafts to the body to reduce horse motion. What vehicle is it? Is it the Long Island or Meadowbrook cart? B, the runabout? C, the marathon vehicle? All right, here we go. Round one, question three. This part of a horse's anatomy plays a major role in pushing blood up out of the hoof. Is it the sole? A, or B, the wall, or might it be C, frog? This part of the horse's anatomy plays a major role in pushing blood up out of the hoof. Is it A, sole, B, wall, or C, frog? All right, round one, question four. 
This color harness was used in the country for informal occasions, partly because it looked better in dusty conditions and was thought to be easier to clean. Is it A, teal, B, russet, or C, white? This color harness was used in the country for informal occasions, partly because it looked better in dusty conditions and was thought to be easier to clean. Is it A, teal, B, russet, or C, white? Oh, we've got some good guesses coming in. That's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. All right, here we go with question five. Cloth that has one side covered with India rubber is called rubber cloth. The heaviest kind is known as what? Is it A, or rubber duck? B, or rubber beetle? Or C, white cloth? Round one, question five again. Cloth that has one side covered with India rubber is called rubber cloth. The heaviest kind is known as what? Is it A, rubber duck? B, rubber beetle? Or C, white cloth? All right, the last question in round one, question six. What color are Carrie's driving string gloves? The string gloves, is it A, white, B, black, or C, brown? What color are Carrie's driving string gloves? A, white, B, black, or C, brown? All right, here we go. Are you ready to find out how you did? Congratulations to everyone that is competing. And we'll see what your bragging rights are. And here we go. Answer to question one. This seat was originally called a booby boot. Today, we call a footman seat a rumble. We call the booby boot a rumble. Round one, question two answer. Several different models of this cart were made, including the Manola cart, the East Winston cart, and the Hempstead cart. Traditionally, they have a patented method of attaching the shafts to the body to reduce horse motion. And that would be A, the Long Island or Meadowbrook cart. Okay, so it was the Long Island or Meadowbrook cart. That includes the Manola cart, the East Winston cart, and the Hempstead cart. Around one, question three. This part of the horse's anatomy plays a major part in pushing blood up out of the hoof. And that would be C, frog. When you, the horse steps on the frog, it pushes blood up out of the hoof. Question four, round one answer. This color harness was used in the country for informal occasions, partially because it looked better in dusty conditions and was thought to be easier to clean. And the answer is B, russet. Dust, when you're on a dirt, dirt road and it's dusty or russet, a brown russet will cover that up for you. So no problems there. All right. Looks like everybody's doing well. And congratulations to Catherine. She knew that was Russet. All right, here we go. Answer round one, question five. Cloth that has one side covered with India rubber is called rubber cloth. The heaviest kind is known as a rubber duck. And so while we may think that's associated with bath time fun, um, it is actually the type of cloth that would be used for this type of cover, possibly. So cloth that was had one side covered with India rubber is called rubber cloth. The heaviest kind is known as rubber duck. All right. Answer round one, question six. What color are carriage driving string gloves? And they are traditionally white. So those are the white gloves that you sometimes see sitting to the driver's right. Okay, looks like you guys had a really good run there. And uh, congratulations to everyone. It's great to see Patrick and Karen and Julie 
and Kelly and Pam all out here with us. We appreciate you all. Okay, I'm gonna give you just a moment to catch your breath. And then we are going to go to round two. Here we go. Round two, question one. Larger sleighs with swell bodies are sometimes referred to as what? Is it Hudson Valley sleighs, Queen's body cutters, or red ribbon cutters? Larger sleigh, larger sleighs with swell bodies are sometimes referred to as A, Hudson Valley sleighs, B, Queen's body cutters, or C, red ribbon cutters. Okay, round two, question two. Confused about when a winter vehicle with runners is a sleigh or a cutter? Cutter is an American term referring to a light sleigh having a single one of these. What might that be? Is it a runner, a seat board, or a dash? Confused about when a winter vehicle with runners is a sleigh or a cutter? Cutter is an American term referring to a lightweight sleigh having one of these. Is it A, runner, B, seat board, or C, dash? Round two, question three. Sleds are more likely to be used over non-snow surface than sleighs or sledges. Which ancient people are famous for using sleds to move heavy items? Is it the Romans, B, the Egyptians, or C, Celts? Sleds are more likely to be used over non-snow surfaces, so perhaps grass or sand, those type of surfaces, than sleighs or sledges. Which ancient people are famous for using sleds to move heavy items? A, Romans, B, Egyptians, and C, Celts. Round two, question four. Winter racing was very popular in the United States, and this type of cutter was an early favorite. They gave way at the turn of the 20th century to specially made racing sleighs. Would that be an Albany? B, a queen's body? or C, a Portland. So winter racing was very popular in the United States and this type of cutter was an early favorite. They gave way at the turn of the century, 20th century to specially made racing sleighs. Would that be A, an Albany, B, Queen's Body, or C, Portland? Round two, question five. When you take the wheels off a vehicle, and add runners to the hubs, the sleigh then can be called a what? This is a question that is in the carriage journal, the January edition, so you may know the answer. Is it A, a punk, a B, hub runner sleigh, or C, a jumper? When you take the wheels off a vehicle and add runners to the hubs, the sleigh then can then be called a what? A, punk, B, hub runner sleigh, or C, jumper? Looks like there's lots of answers coming in. You guys are great. Really appreciate your participation. Sarah and Tracy and Sally, everybody's joining us today. All right, round two, question six. This is our last question in round two. Snow buildup in your horse's feet. What common kitchen item can help you? Is it A, shortening? B, ketchup, or C, sugar? Snow buildup in your horse's feet? What common kitchen item can help you? Is it A, shortening, B, ketchup, or C, sugar? All right, we'll give you just a moment to answer those. So we are getting ready for round two answers. Greatly appreciate everyone coming out today. This is a fantastic turnout. Okay, here we go with the answers. Round two, question one answer. Larger sleighs with swell bodies are sometimes referred to as A, Hudson Valley sleighs. So larger sleighs with swell bodies are sometimes referred to as Hudson Valley sleighs, A. And kind of the hint on this one is that it's a sleigh. And so the other two are cutters. 
All right, round two, question two answer. Confused about when a winter vehicle with runners is a sleigh or a cutter? Cutter is an American term referring to a light sleigh having one seat board. Cutters is a, a cutter is an American term referring to a light sleigh having a single seat board. Now you can add seats to it, but the actual carriage when it's cutter when it's built has one seat. All right, round two, question three answers. Sleds are more likely to be used over non-snow non surfaces than sleighs or sledges. Which ancient people are famous for using sleds to move heavy items? And the answer is B, Egyptians. And if you have a chance to visit a museum and see some of the sleds that they used, you would be right at home using them today. Very common design. So that was the Egyptians that used sleds to move very heavy items. Round two, question four, answer. Winter racing was very popular in the United States and this type of cutter was an early favorite. They gave way at the turn of this 20th century to make to specially made racing sleighs. And that would be the Portland cutter. Okay, so the Portland cutter was used extensively in winter racing until the turn of the 20th century when they gave way to specially made racing sleighs. Round two, question five, answer. When you take the wheels off a vehicle and add runners to the hubs, the sleigh then can be called a hub runner sleigh. When you take the wheels off a vehicle and add runners to the hubs, the sleigh can then be called a hub runner sleigh. So it doesn't make a difference what body is on this one. It would just be called a hub runner sleigh if you weren't sure. All right, the last answer for round two, question six. If you have snow buildup in your horse's feet, a common kitchen item that can help you is shortening. You can coat the bottom of your horse's feet and it helps remove snow buildup. So snow buildup in your horse's feet, what common kitchen item can help you? And the answer is A, shortening. Much to your horse's dismay, they were probably hoping it was sugar. So we'll give you just a moment to get down your answers. Oh, it's great to see Sue out here with us. And Julie, Amy, you guys are really out. Hey, Jeff. Jeff and Don are both joining us today. Patrick is doing well. So is Janet and John. All right. So here we go with round three of the quiz. All right, so these are all focused on book covers. Round three, question one. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? This is the Black Stallion Sulky Colt. Is it A, dog cart Phaeton, B, Sulky, or C, Landau? What type of vehicle is on this book cover? Is it A, dog cart Phaeton, B, Sulky, or C, Landau? Around three, question two. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? Is it A, a dog cart, B, a Victoria, or C, a Vardo? What type of vehicle is on this book cover? A, dog cart. B, Victoria, or C, Vardo. All right, here we go. Round three, question three. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? Would it be A, a delivery wagon, B, an opera bus, or C, an omnibus? What type of vehicle is on this book cover? A, delivery wagon, B, opera bus, or C, omnibus? Ah, lots of great guesses coming in. That's fantastic. All right, here we go. Round three, question four. 
You might remember this book from your childhood. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? Is it A, a delivery wagon, a B, a donkey cart, or C, a tub cart? What type of vehicle is on this book cover? A, delivery wagon, B, donkey cart, or C, tub cart? Around three, question five. This is Blitz, the story of a horse. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? Is it A, fire engine, B, hearse, or C, hose cart? What type of vehicle is on this book cover? Is it A, fire engine, B, hearse, or C, hose cart? Around three, question six. This is for the Harry Potter fans out there. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? A, four passenger sleigh, B, four passenger cutter, or C, hub runner sleigh. So what type of vehicle is on this book cover? Is it A, four passenger sleigh, B, four passenger cutter, or C, hub runner sleigh? Okay, and that was the end of that round. How are you doing on that? Did you like the book covers? That's something new that we're trying this time. I thought maybe you might enjoy being able to see them in a different light. All right, I'm just double checking to make sure everything is going well. Everybody can see everything. Looks like we're doing okay. That's fantastic. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this. All right, here we go with the answers. All right, this one was kind of easy. The Black Stallion Sulky Colt has a sulky on his book cover. What, cover, what type of vehicle is on this book cover? And it is B, sulky. Okay. This one's a little harder. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? And the answer is C, Avardo. We debated on what type of uh, actual Vardo it was, but it is a Vardo. <laughs> um, what type of vehicle is on this book cover? And it's a Vardo. Around three, question three. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? Now, those of you who've traveled to England with us for the Royal Windsor Horse Show probably know this because they've seen it in the show ring. And this would be a delivery wagon. The reason it is not an opera bus or an omnibus, one easy way to know, is that it does not transport people inside of it. There is no doors or window for that. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? And that is A, a delivery wagon. The happy Hollisters, Hollisters. The question for round three, question four, answer. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? It is B, a donkey cart. So what type of vehicle is on this book cover? And it is B, a donkey cart. All right, Blitz, the story of a horse. What type of vehicle is on this book cover? It is a fire engine. I think technically it is a pumper, but it is definitely a fire engine. It is not a hose cart and it is not a hearse. Around three, question six, answer. For the Harry Potter fans, this is a four passenger sleigh. As we discussed earlier, a four passenger or a cutter should have one seat in it. And it has runners that are attached. It just is not adapted from a carriage body, so it cannot be a hub runner sleigh. So the Harry Potter book has a four passenger sleigh on the cover. All right, are you ready for round four? guys are doing good. I'm looking here and I see all these different answers and lots and lots of people joining us today. I really appreciate that. 
it's great to know that you guys are, are happy to see one during the day. We weren't sure, but this is working out great. Thank you. CAA quiz round four. Round four, question one. This is a CAA member with his horses competing in what? A, a sleigh derby, B, a horse driving trial, or C, cones. These horses are competing in what? A sleigh derby, horse driving trial, or cones? Round four, question two. Four presidential carriages were built by this shop. The carriages were used by Presidents Ulysses S. Grant, Benjamin Harrison, Abraham Lincoln, and William McKinley. Which company built the carriages? Was it A, Brewster and Company, B, Studebaker, or C, C.P. Kimball? Four presidential carriages were built by this shop. The carriages were built by Presidents Ulysses S. Grant, Benjamin Harrison, Abraham Lincoln, and William McKinley. Which company built the carriages? Was it A, Brewster & Company, B, Studebaker, or C, C.P. Kimball? Around four, question three. This ties into Barry Dickinson's talk the other day when he was talking about Vanderbilt. In 1908, Alfred G. Vanderbilt took 80 American standard bred horses to England to horse what on the London to Brighton Road? Was it A, the Venture Road Coach, B, the Wolfhound Coach, or C, the Ten TV Coach? In 1908, Alfred G. Vanderbilt took 80 American standard bred horses to England to horse what on the London to Brighton Road? A, the Venture Road Coach, B, the Wolfhound Coach, or C, the Tantivy Road Coach? All right, here we go. This one's a tough one. Round four, question four. How is this double footman's loop used? So you can see the double footman's loop over on the right. Is it A, the front one is the hold back strap and the back one is the kicking strap? B, the front is the kicking strap and the back is the hold back strap? Or C, is it just used to confuse people? How is this double footman's loop used? Do you use A, the hold back strap in the front and the kicking strap in the back? Or B, the kicking strap in the front? with the hold back strap in the back? Or is it C, just made them to confuse people? Around four, question five. Why is the edge of this hub rough? Is it for decoration, A, or B, to discourage people from using it as a step, or C, for safety? Why is the edge of this hub rough? Is it A, for decoration? B, to discourage people from using it as a step, or C, for safety? Around four, question six. This vehicle is called what? Is it A, a Meadowbrook, B, governess cart, or C, Landau? Round four, question six. This vehicle is called a what? Is it Meadowbrook, governess cart, or Landau? All right, are you ready for the answers? You guys look like you're having fun. Lots of lots of questions coming in, answers coming in. That's fantastic. Here we go with the answers. All right. Round four, question one answer. These horses are competing in what? They are competing in a Slay Derby. These horses, which are driven by a CAA member, are competing in a Slay Derby. Around four, question two, answer. Four presidential carriages were built by this shop. The carriages were used by Presidents Ulysses S. Grant, Benjamin Harrison, Abraham Lincoln, and William McKinley. Which company built the these carriages? And it was Studebaker. 
Studebaker built four presidential carriages, including the one that um, took Abraham Lincoln to the um, theater on that fateful night. So Studebaker built four presidential carriages. Around four, question three, answer. In 1908, Alfred G. Vanderbilt took 80 American standard bred horses to England to horse what the Venture Road Coach on the London to Brighton Road. In 1908, Alfred G. Vanderbilt took 80 American standard bred horses to England to horse the Venture Road Coach on the London to Brighton Road. Okay, this was the tricky one. Did you get it? This double footman's loop is used what? Although it is confusing, the answer sadly is not C, it is A. So the front piece holds the hold back strap and the back piece holds the kicking strap. So this double footman's loop, the answer is A. The hold back strap is in the front and the kicking strap is in the back. Round four, question five, answer. Why is the edge of this hub rough? And that is for safety. And while the driver is getting up on the vehicle, he can put his foot on the hub, have a little traction, and step up safely. You'll notice that on the front wheels, and it is not typically on the back wheels, although there are exceptions to every rule. Why is the edge of this hub rough? And that is for safety when the driver gets up. He can use the hub as a step. Are you ready for the last question and answer? Here we go. Round four, question six, answer. This is a governess cart. And you can see the rounded edges, which makes it really nice. It's uh, attached to a pony. And you can see that there are seven kids in there. Seven children in this governess cart. Okay. So we are done for today. We did it perfectly in 30 minutes. So hopefully that was a great break for you and that you enjoyed it. Our next event is next Friday, not this Friday, but the following Friday. And that is a CAA webinar on Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it will be with John Stollard. We will be discussing the treasures from the CMA, CAA Library and Ken Wheeling Archives. There are lots of treasures in that. So I hope that you join in and um, all of our CAA members. If you are not a CAA member and you would like to join us, we are, do have a few slots available. Um, you can find that on our Facebook page under events. Again, we will see you on Friday, the 29th. Sorry, I forgot what day we were going to be there. Friday, the 29th of January at 7 p.m. for Treasures from the CMA, CAA Library and Ken Wheeling Archives. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day and that you greatly enjoyed this quiz. And leave a comment below. We appreciate it and we appreciate all the thumbs ups. So have a great day.